we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Capricorn, um, we'll just talk about these cards. So it, it looks like... Um, somebody was definitely acting in accordance with lawlessness you know immorality um lascivious behavior just all over the place um there could be or there was a health scare maybe even a pregnancy scare but then somebody gets good news in terms of the health or pregnancy Somebody looks to spirituality to get them out of this or get them to a better place or get them to hearing better news or good news. There's somebody also bound or like bedridden. Someone could be using somebody else's health or lack of good health to as an excuse not to show up, as an excuse not to do as an excuse not to work or work for. Someone definitely could be bedridden. Nobody knows about it because this person used to be show off, very showy, um, flashy. Somebody could be making less money also. Someone could be impoverished or in poverty or lack or not having enough now. They, they had an abundance of, but now they don't have enough. So someone is definitely in a very, um, very bad place, in a place of not being able to cope with the change, the adverse change. Somebody did not operate in accordance with law, structure, routine, regimen, uh, saving, learning. Somebody was just doing whatever they wanted to do and they got them to a place of uh, depletion um, being deprived of, in need, bad health. Somebody could literally be walking on crutches or something of that nature. Somebody could have gotten tossed out or lost a job. It's something could have got tossed out of court also, but then there's an opportunity to turn it around with the six of wands here. Someone is now trying to practice being, practice morality, chastity, you know, just um, maybe abstinence now, especially with the health scare or the pregnancy scare. Something came into this person's life and grounded them. It's like somebody called on the, the elders or whomever like to pray over them or to pray for. 
Someone could be using the loss of somebody's life as an excuse not to engage or to do or to get up and go to work or to whatever. Somebody also went to someone trying to get them back, like uh, win them back, you know, win them over. This person gave them very little, still kept them out in the cold. Now this person can't cope with the fact that it is over, it is done. This person may have even turned around and maybe gave a message to them like, hey, how you doing? Or, you know, sent them a message or whatnot. And they, don't, they feel like this is the opportunity to turn the, the table or turn the wheel. Like we can get this back or I'm back in. Somebody's money goes definitely. It fluctuates. They make money. They, they, they spend it or they just don't have many uh, they don't have a plan for their money. They operate in materialism. Then they'll make money again or they'll get a handout or um, they'll get a leg up or they'll get promoted. And it's kind of like a cycle. This is what they do. Somebody is just outright lazy. Someone's making the other person pay for or do all the work. Someone is realizing that they signed up for something that, you know, they don't want. This could definitely be, I heard sexually transmitted. I don't know. You fill in that blank. I don't know. But it looks like whatever it is, you can come out of it. You can get good luck. You can hear better news with the six of wands here. Yeah, you can get healing with the star card. You can release the baggage from, you know, hurtful situations, hurtful relationships. You can get in alignment. Something that's out of alignment. So this could even be broken bone. Whatever this is, it is secret in regards to someone's health or someone's keeping it under wraps, under secret, you know, in secret. This is a ruthless somebody. This is somebody who thought that they could do anything to gain, um, gain money, fame, prestige, right? And it looks like somebody's getting karma or something that's being returned to them. Yeah, I guess that will be karma, right? There could be another woman here who's extremely ruthless, you know, who will do anything for um, maybe a man's affection, attention, or to be chosen. Yeah, she wants to be chosen. She wants to remove all obstacles. This is somebody who's obsessed with someone also. This could even be obsession in regards to sex addiction this is what i have for you capricorn if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below if you're a business-minded individual join the ktmg conference call that is held monthly where we go over business ideas you can also get on a complimentary discovery call with me all the links are below Thank you again. Take care. Many blessings. Hello.